Well, I've just got back from an extended camping trip and I have absolutely no supplies, no food, no water, no weapons, nothing. I decided to try and head back towards my hometown because I borrowed my dad's RV for the camping trip. But unfortunately, due to all the infrastructure being cut off and the whole end of the world thing happening, I've completely lost my bearings and have ended up in the middle of nowhere. The main plan for today is to try and get some basic supplies like food and water, and I also need to try and figure out where I am. Because so much infrastructure has been knocked out, I had to take a completely different route back to my hometown, so I don't really know where I am, so it's going to be a bit of a mission finding my way back home. I've had the radio on for some time, but unfortunately no broadcasts are coming through, but I'm going to keep it on for a little while and hope for the best. Currently I'm heading towards a gas station and basically anywhere where I can find some supplies. Now like I said I've got absolutely no resources and no weapons so it's going to be a bit of a mission trying to get anywhere but luckily I think there are a few rural houses around here with big farms so hopefully I can get somewhere safely and stock up. Ideally I'd just like to run over all the undead in my RV but if I run over too many it's going to start damaging the engine and all the parts in it so I have to do this quite strategically. Alright just pulling up to a farmhouse and now I'm going to scavenge and try and find some items and hopefully continue on. It's funny I haven't played Project Zomboid in about three weeks and I feel like I'm brand new at the game again like I've forgotten so many controls which is just so annoying. Close. Close, close the window, close the window. Safety first. Okay, nice, a pipe wrench. That's going to be perfect for getting rid of these zombies around the house and a few vitamins and some bandages. You always got to make sure you have an escape route. Like, all these rooms have windows, which is perfect to get out of. Just make sure you dispatch the zombies that try and come in. Ugh, son of a gun. Okay, a little bit too close for comfort. Let's take care of these guys and then I'm diving headfirst out the window because they're about to break down that door. <sighs> Are we okay? We're okay. We got our shirt ripped. We're okay. Or our pants. I don't know which one it was. Okay, looks like there's a few inside still, I can get their attention. Well, that was a little excessive, that was a little full on, but we made it through. Let's grab some items. I I'm telling you, when I, when I say I ran out of items when I was camping, I was not lying, I have nothing. I used to find a duffel bag, really, that's beautiful. It's exactly what we need, and a digital watch. Wear this cap, protect me from the sun. Let's get a drink. There is still uh, power and water everywhere, which is, um, which is beneficial, because without it, I would be in a bit of trouble. Well, that was quite the introduction. But this is Rodney. Rodney's family are from Louisville. And this adventure will be about him trying to get there by any means necessary to try and find out if his family are still alive and seeing if he can survive in this harsh world. Now look, our main character here is not a survivor by any state, but he is a college student recently graduated and he thought he, he, he'd just do some celebrating by doing some camping that, that's his thing unfortunately he's put himself into a terrible situation and this sort of series is not going to be a whole bunch of you know huge events every episode it's it's going to be more laid back it's going to be more of an adventure it's going to be it's going to be a story and uh hey if you're into that sort of thing if you want to like the video we can uh we can keep this sort of thing going if you want to subscribe, you can see more of, of the story. And who knows? Who knows where this could lead? He might end up killing every zombie in Project Zomboid. It's very easily doable. Trust me, I know. There are a few mods enabled, only to make the quality of the game better, in my opinion. I have enabled some of the extra armors and weapons, just to give a bit more variety to the game. 
I've also enabled a lot of different uh, death animations for the zombies. So if you notice some of them dying a bit differently, that is why. And there's just a whole bunch of quality of life improvements that I've added, in my opinion, which I think make the game a whole lot better. I'm not going to list them all, but it's got to be tough, you know, deciding whether to kill the person you're with if they're infected or just doing whatever they did here and barricaded them inside a room. I think either way, it's uh, it's got to be pretty helpless, pretty hopeless uh, situation. I decided that uh, leaving this zombie inside this room was a bit too cruel. So I'm going to bust him out. I'm going to bust his face all over the floor. Just coming up on a few houses now. These ones were set back behind a set of woods. Actually, not too far away from the ones we were just looting. And, uh... Looks like one of these is uh, actually boarded up, which might actually be really beneficial for us if we do decide to set up sort of a safe house later in the game. Might make a note of this place and uh, see if we can get inside and uh, see if it's holding anything good. I've decided to suss out the house which was just down the road from the boarded up one. The boarded up one's going to take a little bit of work to break into, so I thought I'd start with the easier one. Screwdriver is going to be essential. I'm actually surprised I found that so easily. So good for weapons attachments, especially because I have all these extra bits and pieces added to the uh, to the game via mods. So that's going to come in really handy. And also just going to be really helpful when we do decide to do some construction down the track. Well, the, uh, the non-barricaded house was uh, pretty empty, so it's time to use the old pipe wrench and put it to work on this barricaded house. Well, I was worried at the uh, durability of my pipe wrench, but it looks like it's come in handy. Oh. My. Goodness. This place is magnificent! There is so many melee weapons in this house, I've never stumbled upon... Well, to be fair, this is like the first house I've ever broken into properly like this. But there is so many melee weapons and tools and bits and pieces. These people were stocked up. It was actually crazy that they were already zombified. I would expect, you know, survivors to be in a house like this. It is, uh... This is, this is huge. This is the biggest first step that we need to uh, continue on our way. So something I haven't shown yet is this really cool feature with the RV. So if we hop in and we press V, we can enter the actual back of the RV, which is really cool. Might just turn off my TV here. And um, what I can do is I have a working fridge. I have a place I can sleep. I have a lot of storage, which is really cool. Uh, just like a real RV, really. Um, except we can't climb straight through to the driver's seat. So, um, I can grab my food and stuff, which is, which is just what I need. And like anything that's frozen, I can put in the freezer. Um, you know, anything else I can do with whatevs. So I'm going to put all my stuff that needs freezing in there, which looks good. Some of my other items I can put in these like little pantry bits. Uh, I might actually put them over here. So my pipes and axes and things chuck here. Maybe next to it, I'll have my healing items. And then up in these little pantries, I can add my bits of normal food and dry items. And maybe on this little pantry shelf here as well, I'll do that too. But um, I just thought that was really cool. Uh, I know it's a bit overpowered, but I'm not going to abuse it. Um, I'm not going to be just sleeping in here every night and surviving. Um, but it makes a huge difference with the way I play anyway. Well, evening is here and it is almost 9pm. So I think it's time we start heading to our last few houses. Our character isn't too tired yet, isn't drowsy or anything. So we still do have a bit of energy in us to loot a few more buildings. But we are going to have to find something that is suitable to sleep in. So we're going to grab the RV, head to our last few spots, and then pack up for the evening. Alright, well I was just following the path here, but we might have stumbled upon something even better. Who knows? There's no zombies around. Good. kind of wish I could take these barrels and like, um, I don't know, open them up and use them for like water storage. I don't really know how it works, but I just feel like it would be like a really good addition. A few other good tools here, which is great. I'll uh, I'll take a fair bit of this, cop all that. 
If you are wondering about the uh, the RV side of things, it is actually a mod you can get on the workshop. I'm sure if you search for the letters R and V, it'll pop up uh, to do with nomading. Um, I might pop it in the description below the link. But um, yeah, I really recommend it if you haven't tried it. It's quite cool. Different method of playing. But um, it's a good bit of fun. Good bit of fun. Not too much else here. I'm going to go check out this big barn and then we will head to one of our final buildings to rest up for the evening and uh, hopefully lock it down, make it safe and get a good night's sleep. Oh, there is absolutely nothing in this barn at all. Good God. Now, the reason I am actually, you know, stopping at a house and not just sleeping in the RV itself is because, you know, I'm trying to maximize my, uh, my player's positive positive outcomes here you know the, the beds if a bed is better in a house then I'll try and use it you know sleeping on the sofa is great but um, you know it's not ideal for my character so I want him to live his best life you know he hasn't got a lot going for him so this is all, all these little things count so it is very important hence why we're trying to find a house to sleep in all right finally in nice double bed to start off with which is always good I can hear some banging going on in the rest of the house, so we might have some undead, but it doesn't sound too dodgy. Oh, Jesus, okay. Stay down, stay down, sir, stay down. Baseball bat, trying to put in work. I think it's time we sat down, had a nice dinner, a few drinks, and just take it easy for the rest of the evening, and get a nice good sleep in a warm, comfy bed, because the days ahead are going to be tough. Every day will be tougher than the last, so these ones that are good, we're going to make them count, we're going to make them easy, we've got to do it, it has to be done. For now, this is the end of day one of Rodney's adventure. I wonder how long it will go for. We hope to see you guys again very, very soon. These smaller videos are much easier to make, uh, aside from the ones I was producing before. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was, uh, you know, entertaining enough, not too, not too hectic. And uh, if you have any comments, put them down below. If you'd like, that'd be awesome. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.